dramatic confrontation and attack on U.S. sailors, three American men on the streets of Turkey wearing civilian clothes when a group of protesters recognize they're American. They begin shouting at them, and here's how it starts. Because we define you as murderers, as killers, we want to, we want you to get out of our land. As you can see here, they begin taking aim at the sailors. They then pull out bags to put over their heads. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, tonight on the attack and what led up to it. The three U.S. sailors, none wearing uniforms, tried to ignore the taunts from the gathering crowd. We define you as murderers, as killers. We want you to get out of our land. But the attack quickly and chaotically escalated. Some 20 people surrounding the Americans. They are shoved, sprayed with red paint representing blood, and assaulted. The chants of go home Yankees follow. Go home Yankees! And then came the bags, the protesters trying to force them over the sailors' heads. The sailors managing to break free, walking, then running, the crowd in hot pursuit. Finally, they make their way safely back to their ship, the USS Ross, a destroyer on a scheduled port visit to Istanbul. Just yesterday, the Secretary of the Navy visiting the sailors on the Ross, today labeling the assault reprehensible. The attackers, members of an ultra-nationalist group called the Turkish Youth Union, angry at what it calls American imperialism. They shot the video and released it for all to see. The group used the bags in an apparent reference to a 2003 incident in Iraq when U.S. forces detained a group of Turkish soldiers putting hoods over their heads. And Martha's with us live from Washington now. These images were difficult to watch today, Martha. Any changes in security when these American sailors are in port? Well, David, the Navy's taking a look at security procedures for future port calls and working with the Turkish authorities on that. But the Navy and the U.S. Embassy in Turkey are quick to say that this will not affect the U.S. relationship with Turkey. All right, Martha Raddatz live in Washington. Martha, thank you.